Hey there, it's Mr. Tish over at Global, and we're going to take a look at how to build a very simple menu for a web page. And I want you to understand what I'm talking about, first of all, when I talk about a menu. So let's take a look at W3Schools. This is a site we know well. And this particular one, you have a menu across the top, and then you actually have two menus in this, because there's a menu down the side. And this menu is a very sophisticated example because when you click on the arrows, you've got quite a bit in the drop downs for each one. We're not going to do anything nearly this complicated today. I'm just going to show you how to get started. And so I've got my website up here, and here's my working environment. I've got my three pages up in three different tabs just for kicks and giggles. So you can just see that I've got three pages in my website now the initial page we took a look at, and then a list of my favorite teams and some countries I'd like to visit. And I put in some extra links just so we could have that. And then over here, I've got the text editor open, and I've got it open to the index page, to the first page. And I don't need any more than that for this. And then just so you can see what we're doing, I've actually got the website folder open here. And again, it's not necessary to have this open, but I'm showing you what it is. So you can get a sense of it. And just to show you how this works, I'm actually going to get rid of the other two tabs. And we're just going to deal with the web page code and the web page itself right here. And what we're going to do is we are going to add a table right across the top. The reason we add that table right across the top is we're going to include three different links right across the top that are going to us to our three pages in the website. And then we're going to put that particular table on every one of the pages. So let's step over here to the initial home page, index.html, and we're going to go right underneath body. And the reason we're going underneath body is we want it to be the first thing on the page. I give myself just a little room so we can see it. And I'm going to start a table. And then I'm going to give myself a couple of lines, and I'm going to actually put in a table close the tag so we have that working. And I save that. Let's back out for a second, take a quick look at the page. If I reload it, there is nothing there, but it did create a space in here because it's reading the code. It says, oh, a table's in there. And just because there's nothing in our table, there's no cells or anything, that's why it's not putting it in. Let's go back to our index code. And one of the things I'm going to do, and this is an extra credit piece if you want it, is I'm going to comment this. I'm going to hit bracket, exclamation point, dash, dash, I'm going to say menu begins here and then dash dash colon and I'm going to save it. And what this does is this is something called a comment. It tells anybody else looking at my code, hey, this is where the menu begins. And then I'm going to put another one of these comments down in here. I'm going to say, hey, dash dash menu ends here and put the little comment. This little bracket followed by this little bracket says ignore everything that's in there. Watch what happens. I will write this in and I have made some kind of a mistake. Yep, I did. I put in a one. You see that one made it show up. So let me fix that. And now the menu does not appear. So you can see, as long as it's an exclamation point, and not a one, it will ignore what's there. And that's just for the people looking at your code. Now, back to my menu. I'm going back to my menu, and for my table, I just need one row. So I'm going to put in one table row, and then space, space, and we're just going to put in the close table. And right now, I have a total of, let's see if we've got any changes. Not really, just the table row is in there. And then I've got three pages. I've got whole index, which we're going to call home, and favorites, and countries. And I'm going to actually put in three table cells right in here. I'm going to put in a TD, and I'm going to call it home, and slash TD. And I'm going to put another one that's going to be my favorite teams, and slash TD. And one more, I'm going to put in this as TD. my travel bucket list and slash td and save it and reload the page and look what we have we have home my favorite teams and my travel bucket list on the one hand right where we want it right across the page on the other hand it's all jammed here in the center
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this out. I'm going to do that little piece of code up here on the table that will say to it, all right, uh, style and then equals and then colon, or sorry, quote, with colon, and I'm going to say 70%. And then I'm going to put in a closed quote. Save it. Watch what happens. Takes it and spreads it out. And it will go across 70% of the page. As a matter of fact, I'll get back all the way out on the page and you'll see. It actually does move a little bit because it's set for that table to go 70% across the page. I actually don't like it as much as I'd like to see it go 80% across the page. So I'll go in here and make a quick adjustment. Save it. And it spreads out just a little bit more of a relaxed way. So, so far my menu is where I want it to be, but nothing here is a link. That's easy to fix. So I'm going to go back into my code and I'm going to add the attribute code right in here, the attribute tag rather, excuse me, a href equals and then quote index.html, close quote, close the bracket, and then close the a tag. And in so doing, if I reload the page, up oh, it works. Of course, it links there. That's not a problem. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take all this code, because it's a lot of copying in there, and I'm going to paste it here. When this actually goes to favorites.html, and I'm going to add another href here, and I call this countries.html. I'm going to close each of the A tags over here and save it. And now I refresh the page back out and I have a nice little bracket. As a matter of fact, when I hold over, if you look at the bottom of the page, it tells me where it's going to go. Clicks over to my favorite teams. For now, I have to click, I have to use the back button to get back. My travel bucket list, it absolutely does that. Well, here's the cool part and here's why I put in those comments. I've told myself, hey, build your menu on this page, then copy it to all the others. So I'm going to copy from comment to comment. I'm going to open up countries.html in text edit. And I'm going to go up to my body, give myself a little bit of room, and put in the menu and save it. I'm going to go over to favorites, open it and text edit, up to body, drop it in, save it. I can actually close those out now and watch what happens. Travel over to my bucket list, my favorite teams. Now I can sit there and flip through my entire page. If I add a page and I want to add it to my menu, I'll go back to index, I'll add another row here, save it, copy it to all my other pages, and now my brand new menu will show up. There are other ways to do this. They are a little more complicated to set up, but easier to edit in the long run. There's more than one way to skin this cat, but this is the simplest way to do a menu that'll work for a website of three or four or five pages long, something that's not terribly large. I hope that was helpful, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.